giving you the best in the world of gaming. Welcome to another exciting episode of GLK TV. I'm your host Dilan. Let's get this show started. Kicking off today's episode, we have the latest in the world of gaming. Now Humble Bundle, you might have heard of it, it's a periodical gaming bundle that provides games on a pay what you want basis, meaning you can decide to choose to pay from $0.99 to all the way up to $1000 on the games that are available over there. Recently the bundle 9 game has increased to 10 games and each of the games are highly acclaimed. Have a look at the bundle for this week. For those that beat the average, the game that gently reminds us you can't spell carnage without car. Raven Sword Shadowlands. Work hard to bring home the bacon so you can buy more weapons and fight monsters. Also for those who beat the average. Bloons TD5. If you play this game, prepare to be blown away. That's quite a poppin' party you have there. Star Command, making its Android debut. Twinkle, twinkle, little stock man. How I wonder how much fun it is to blow up your enemies with giant laser beams. Punch quest. Punch your enemies. See them punched before you arrive on the velociraptor to push your freaking laser beams out of its mouth. Time Surfer, making its Android debut. Surf's up, dude. Oops, two up. Rewind time and try again. Roads? Where we're surfing, we don't need room. We recommend each and every one of these games as it is exceedingly fun and it's for charity. For all you strategy gamers out there, Day9 from StarCraft fame has been working with artillery games on a brand new RTS currently named Project Atlas. Now we have our game analyst Onkar to elaborate more on the trailer. Take it away. So Artillery Games has just released the first uh, bit of footage for the game and um, it's titled a browser gaming console. Um, it's obviously going to be on the computer but it promises as they say console level, level graphics and uh, real-time multiplayer. Uh, so if it's anything, if it's going to be anything like Starcraft it will be focused on high pace, high um, quick, quick reactions, uh, quick response um, multiplayer games and it's apparently going to be browser based entirely uh, and made in HTML5 apparently. Um, one thing they seem to have advertised quite a lot in, in, the, in this trailer is that it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a lot of focus on developer tools. Um, quite possibly it, it might be as powerful as the StarCraft in-game editor which I mean even Dot, Dota has come out from the Warcraft editor so that's a very important uh, thing for any RTS. It improves the lifespan of it considerably. Um, other than that, they really haven't said much about it. Uh, how many factions there will be, how many units there will be. Um, but, I mean, we just have to wait and see. You can sign up for, for, for the chance to get early beta access uh, from their website, which is in the description. Um, and well, we'll see. They've, they've penned up an, uh, a 2014 re uh, release, so let's let's see what happens. Dota 2 has recently released their new major patch title, First Blood. Now the patch promises several new additions, and we're going to move on to Onkar, our game analyst, for some more information on it. 
So on the 23rd of September, uh, Valve released their first major patch in a long time, titled First Blood. Uh, this patch promises lots of new exciting changes. Uh, particularly interesting is the addition of land play. Now this means that a lot of tournaments would be able to have uh, LAN latency as opposed to having to connect to the relevant server. So the timing is quite good considering SLCG is just around the corner. The third major change we introduced is the improvement of the in-game backpack, which is now called the Armory. It promises a new way to filter your items and sort them out in a more efficient way. That's not all. In addition to these changes, they've also made several gameplay and UI changes. Uh, most, most notable gameplay change would be the addition of Medusa into the captain's mode pool. Let's hope to see her in a lot of professional games. Last week we came to you from the Gen X tournament organized by SLIT. We have the results lined up for you this week, so have a look. So, we at JLK always want to like bring to you, like, you know, mix things up a bit. So we came out now and we are currently in Colombo and we are walking around, speaking to random people, asking them um, random gaming questions. It's going to be a lot of fun or we might get in really big trouble. Let's just hope for the best. Security guard coming, bye. The latest game that you play, it could be like 10 years ago, it could be like even yesterday. Uh, solitary. Sol oh my god. I know. <laughs> Arkham Origins, once I played. Uh, some Crash Bandicoot. My Crash? Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, yeah. yeah, that's a pretty good game. So you guys play Crash that's Bandicoot? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Mario. Mario. <laughs> Great. What was the latest game that you guys played? Game Call of Duty. It was Resident Evil. When was it? Uh, few years back. Now we have, we have a set of gaming characters. You, may, you will not know them. But if you look at them, and if you could guess their name based on their appearance, like this character right here, what do you think his name could be? I don't know what that means. Uh, rabbit, uh, Christian Rabbit. The, the what rabbit? Yes. We don't know the name in English. The oh, say it in French. Oh. Lapin Crétin. Lapin Crétin. Great, see, the, I could do it in French, I could wing it. <laughs> what would you think his, this character name would be? Him! Oh dear. Uh, it's cute and cuddly, you should think oh, of something. There's nothing cuddly about that. Really? It's like a freaking vampire or a rabbit. That's so mean. <laughs> that's terribly mean. No, that's this calls is a vampire rabbit. <laughs> okay, alright. It's an assassinator. Assassinator. Uh, Pacific Rim. <laughs> Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. <laughs> What? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having a spider? Spider. Just spider. Scorpion. 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 Who is he? Come on. Hey, screen man. You know that? He has a big M on his head. That should that's a dead giveaway right there. Super Mario. Yeah. I see the Kirby. It's, it's close, it's not Furby as of yet, but it's Kirby. 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 Yeah, she knows Kirby. Uh, funny pig. A funny pig. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the guy from 300, like he, he looks like him, but... Some wizard. Some wizard. Lord of the Rings, the old man. <laughs> well, he looks like that. He, he kind of does. If you were a gaming character, who would it be? Uh, Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, yes. that's pretty cool. Mickey Mouse. Okay. Mickey Mouse? Mouse. <laughs> um, from my childhood, I'm a fan of Batman. You're a fan of Batman? Yes. Okay, alright, that's good. So and? If it's a Batman game, I would choose Batman. So you would be Batman in the game? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Batman is pretty cool. Personality wise, looks wise, who would you consider yourself to be? I have no idea. Come on, I you should know something. I don't know. Don't you anything. have like a little brother? No. You know, it could be a significant other who plays games. No? Fox and fighting character. Fighting character. In specific? Some character in Mortal Kombat preferment. That's all we have for today's episode of GLK TV. And we're going to end today's episode on the escalators going up. I know what that symbolifies. It probably means that we're going anywhere but up. And we're going up. 
all you gamers out there, register for your gamer ID at www.gamer.lk for the latest discounts and offers available by us. Also, don't forget to register for our gaming news, that is SMS alerts. Just send uh, an SMS to REG, send REG space games to 77001 for the latest in the world of gaming. Also, also if you have any feedback, any comments on the show, any compliments or even complaints, anything got any questions you want something to be featured just let us know log on www.gamer.lk and we shall comply oblige that's all we have for this episode take care see you guys next week before the security guards come out i'm going to run away so let's see if she sees professional game game I'll just release recently the button you didn't call me I don't know what you're saying, so I don't know. They're going to get caught by the security in five minutes right now.